Alright, let's go. Let's see which f that was gonna run down this game. Mm, Halo Blades is out, so it's gonna go full AD, probably. What's the build on this game though? Do I even want Titanic? Probably not. I want to be decent to Black Cleaver to be a true game and just spammy. I could do a BC into with Sentu actually. Yeah, I think that's the build. Or maybe I go f Sterix. No, I'm gonna do the no Triforce. I mean, no Titanic build this game. Titanic doesn't seem bad, it just doesn't seem good either though against our comp. If I really want it, I can do it third item, but I think it still has higher value. I do not want to push the lane too much, I actually prefer to keep it like right here. Yes, King! Look at the spacing gap though. I have to EQ and use his this already. I will be able to kill him. He has no flash, there we go. Let's push one last time actually. I can back right here. Perfect. Let's get that six minutes, really good purchase. Super strong Jax. Still debating whether I want Titanic or I want what do you call Vincent? To be H, Vincent Sterk seems better in this game, man. Due to the tenacity you get and the MR against their comp. I do love Titanic and Jax, but at the same time, I don't think you should build it every game. I would reduce a lot of damage from enemy team and do more damage probably with Vits than I would with Titanic this game. I'm strong enough to want me to them for sure. As long as I don't like take tower shots. Ah, oh, we can. It has to be slow. If we go full on, he just survives. <sighs> oh, all right. I'm really, really, really strong right now. This game we're playing like pitch perfect lane, which is good. I got the space in this game. I don't want to lose another one, dude. The laning phase decisions have been really good. He's not gonna get any minions. I win the one with you for sure against Zhao. Ah, uh, if I go way too far, maybe I don't. Like use my E early, and then he comes behind me with Halo Blades. Maybe I can lose. But like this, I should be able to win. Okay. I need level 9 before I go. So we do win the one me too, but it's a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, it's a really good performance, but game is still looking a bit rough. Nah, I can carry this one though. I think I can. We'll see. If I can carry this game, I think top lane is the worst role in the game. No matter how much like you're outspacing and outplaying. If this game as top doesn't work, then legit no game is ever gonna work. Almost 10 seconds per minute, we just hold the freeze again. There's nothing to do if I fast push. Better to just make sure Gwen can play. If Gwen rotates, then I can actually, you know, do something. Alright, so far we were in a very good spot, but bot sides are just running it at this point. It's hard for me to die. If I had Thunder, by the way, I could be able to look to die place Gwen one on one. Without Thunder, it's way too hard. I don't get any sustain. And Thunder Sky is too slow. Six seconds is way too much. I could dive in with this place. Wow. What? Okay, well, I suppose she's really scared. I don't want to use this, it's mine, but we're gonna take it still. She's really petrified, though, for the fact that she used her order. Okay, I think I can head on diving.
Just use the ignite so I can get all the gold from plates. If I don't use ignite, I have to kill him, and it's gonna take, become like way too close. Probably gonna die on the tower. That would not be worth it to die. Okay, well, let's get it. Six wood drops. This will one shot tower. He has no TP. In carry game now. Perfect. All right. Second item at 13 minutes. Next item could be stakes or Ritzend. Both are good. Ah, this thing still goes off. Wow, he actually altered before I one shot him. That's very good from the reaction. Good. Oh, it's really annoying. I have to make sure this guy knows that I'm the main character in this game, not him. He is trying to ego take this wave and ego take this wave. Like, chill, bro. When your Jax is this bad, you want to give him all the gold so he can one nine carry. You don't want to be taking anything by force or stuff. Ah, no kill, but whatever. He actually hard in this fight. He has a flash. Bro, I literally did like all the damage there and got zero gold there. Well, Vlad did damage too though. But I did a lot with zero gold kills. You can't do that, bro. Well, she didn't land a single order. Mm. Alright, let's get top of here. Tower's there. Yeah, serves. This item might not be bad, I guess I'm allowed to be itch, but like, I don't think you build it first. If you're gonna do that item, I think you do it later on. Could go for the kill, but I think it's too overforced. Just too mid, I, I cannot die. I'm doing this just in case this guy's in the bush, he's gonna keep cancelling his back. And since the wave isn't there, like, you're just drawing pressure by literally not missing anything. But if I didn't see their body, I would never walk here without vision. While I'm 1k gold. That play is only good <laughs> if you see two people are there. What is that? Did he lose support item? Wait, can you actually go support item as jungle? Is, I'm pretty sure I have support item. Or is it not? No, it's Trailblazer. I've seen that on Alistair or something though. He doesn't have his jump. He's just dead. Okay, I do so much damage to this. Judge! Ja -ja. Alright, I'd rather back here. I don't want to die. I'm just gonna play perfect so I can win. My team is blundering again, but if I play perfect, we can win. So this game, I don't want to do Titanic. I want to get Tenacity and get Sterix. And the MR is really massive against that, those two champs. And the damage for killing Xin Zhao. If I do Titanic build, the problem is I can't get to backlight. This guy with Lantern, I can never one-shot the Lucian. And then Gwen would be on me every time with Victor. Like, you see the problem though? It would be impossible for me to survive that. But with, with Sen and Black Cleaver, I just killed Xin Zhao and Gwen while I have 10k tenacity. 20% is pretty huge. That's a thought process of why we go with Sen this game. No! He's gonna E. I'll just wait. I need to play like really patient in this game, like as you can see. I'm playing extremely patient with my abilities. I do not wanna, if I die once, I'm pretty sure we lose. I need to play in a way that I actually make sure I'd never die in this particular match. Pretty sure these are awarded. Wait. Ah, I have to flash immediately here. Come 
might be dead. Nah, I'm not dead. Ooh, I played that terribly. Thank God I survived. He has no flash, I don't need to run. No way this reaches! How much MS do you get? Okay, never mind, I die. Ah, the turn was too early. I need one more, then I don't die there. It's so crazy how much Leonris does, by the way. Even if you have its end, I'm getting one shot with two items, while you have way more. Well, now I'm like four items, but I was three items there and a half, or a Ruby Cursor, actually, not a half. But with two items, mages right now can kill characters three levels below. Level 13 to 16, and add its end, right? Like, it shouldn't even be possible for Victor to touch me. But don't worry, dude. The Andres is a balanced item. 2% max health magic damage. Like, what is that stat? Wow, the attack speed damage ruined this build. Feels kind of good, doesn't it? Okay, so last item here. You could do Titanic if you really want. It would give you a lot of damage too. I think last item here is Titanic again. Is it? Mm, what else is there? There's Rookin too, that would be... This item would be really good too. I would have so much resistance against their AP mages. Ah, man, die thresh! 19 shields and that's TP2. What about this one? We can do some limit testing. This is the point where I got everyone fed like three items. This guy's like three items too. But he's building Frozen Heart on Vlad and Vin with their heavy AP. XD. Why the hell are you doing Frozen Hearts, by the way? You know they're heavy AP, right? Their Lucian can get in range to auto attack. It's just Victor. That's their entire draft. That's why I should build this if I'm tryharding, maybe. But Titanic would give you so much DPS here with this build. So I'm just gonna do that. Now I can like one shot the living hell out of that guy by the way. But yeah, no, this game's over. Where's the Gwen? It's just AFK with 1kp. Pop a smurf. Wait, the Gwen's winning that? Huh? <laughs> Is she winning the 1v10? What is happening? I want to see if Victor greets. Nice, maybe? He's gonna flash. Oh, the shields! Okay. Do these redemption shield, and then another shield, and then another fucking shield with this? How many shields did they get there? We can't lose, I'm telling you. Like, at this point, I just want to have fun. I played proper the entire game. This is my time to limit this. When I know the game is won, normally I limit this. They're probably gonna win without me. I mean, I, they use all their stuff here to be itch. Ah, it's game. No! Die, 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 die. Go, Gwen! Gwen, come on. Okay, good. The game's all over. Alright, I get to limit this. Let's see, with Vitsend and Black Lever, how much damage will I do? 4k HP, 360 AD, lots of attack speed, 50% tenacity. I'm looking fucking nuts. Let me get one more Iron Elixir too. It'll be even more fun. Oh! Look at this tenacity, by the way. I mean, I can't be hooked. If I get hooked, it lasts for like 75 milliseconds. Dude, look at this tower damage, really? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. The build is massive tower damage. Wait, how is my damage I'm going to? Holy moly, does so much. I almost one shot the Gwen hundred to zero. I think I messed up one of the auto attacks again. Ooh, bro, Titanic alone did like. 500 damage to characters or more in that fight. It was like triple people behind them.